Hey everyone, Nintendo Ruffle Jans here from Nintendo Prime, and look, there's a report out today from Nikkei, the reputable Japanese newspaper and website from Japan that attended the meeting at the investors meeting, got to talk directly to Shintura Furukawa, and their report has a very interesting conclusion coming out from Takahashi Machizuki. Now, Takahashi Machizuki, as you know, is the person that was responsible for the validity of so many Switch Pro rumors last year. And what's interesting is that he came out here and quoted the article as saying, there will be no new Nintendo hardware this fiscal year, which ends in March of 2023. Now, that's the direct quote. He does go on to note, not immediately clear whether that part of the article is from Nikkei's own reporting or what Nintendo president who Nikkei interviewed for the story said. Now, this article is behind a paywall in Japan that I have tried and unsuccessfully been able to get behind, but either way, I would have been reliant on Google Translate. So instead, we actually have somebody who regularly covers Nintendo Switch and Nintendo products in Japan, an actual analyst, somebody that we normally get a whole bunch of you know stuff from the meeting from. As an example, this person literally is an investor that attends Nintendo's investors meetings. Uh, and David Gibson, who responded to this and clarified exactly what Nintendo said. So... Is it true that, hey, look, all the people hoping for Nintendo Switch hardware, new hardware before the end of the current fiscal year can just give up? Is it true that, you know what, Nintendo has no plans whatsoever to actually release anything new? And is that really the direction of Nintendo moving forward, that they're just going to ride Switch until they can't ride it anymore? Well, let's find out about that after I remind you that, hey, we do have a giveaway going on. You know what? You want details on it? We have a pinned comment down in the description. And yeah, there'll be a, a code dropping later in the video. So pay attention because you get an extra 20 entries. And we're doing this every day. So when I'm looking at what David Gibson said, and I believe that I've actually interpreted what he said correctly. Uh, he responded on Twitter directly to Takahashi Machizuki's article, and he said, here are the actual quotes from Nintendo CEO Shintaro Furukawa in the article. And it's weird because Takahashi Machizuki also, you know, is, speaks native Japanese. So it, it's really curious that uh, David Gibson is the one actually providing the quotes. I don't know why. Uh, Takahashi Machizuki was acting like, hey, we're not really sure if these came from Nintendo. No, no, the, the only quotes in the article from Nintendo CEO are as follows. Normally, we would stockpile inventory in the summer to be ready for the end of the year when it is at its peak. This summer, we have not been able to produce as much as in previous years. So this is referencing, obviously, where Shintura Furukawa also said during the meeting that, hey, we've been having a hard time making enough units. We might even use planes and whatever to fly units out during the holiday season. But essentially, this summer has had lower production than the last two years. Okay, that's that's sort of what he's inferring. However, does that lower production mean that Nintendo's in trouble? Does it mean that there's a doom and gloom at Nintendo? Does it mean, oh, man, we just can't produce enough units. So you know what? We're done. We're not going to be able to, to do anything new, any new products. However... Here's what he actually said, the actual quote from Shintaro Furukawa. Even if we could produce the volume that we want, I'm not optimistic that we will be able to sell it all. Now, their guidance, which is their current projections, call for 18 million sales in the next nine months. What I find interesting here is how those quotes are being interpreted by Nikkei with an opinion that Nintendo will not be releasing new hardware in the next, you know, fiscal year before, before the end of, of uh, March of 2023. Now, look, I want to clarify here. I don't have a horse in this race, okay? I, I don't work for Nintendo. I don't work for these analyst companies. I don't make any money whether Switch Pro comes out or not or whether a, a next generation Switch or Switch Lite, oh, that 5G that I've, I've already debunked. Look, I... It doesn't matter to me in the end if these come out or not. What matters to me is I get amazing games. And I still have amazing games coming forward. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We have Bayonetta 3. We got uh, Breath of the Wild 2 at some point. You know, we Look, we, the, the, the amazing games just keep coming. And Nintendo has an absolutely stellar lineup both this year and at least to kick off next year with Breath of the Wild 2. So that's what I care about as a gamer. But it also, I'm a tech enthusiast. I like tech. You know, it's the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Like, you know... 
that's that's one of the best Android, if not the best Android phones on the market. Uh, you know, Yulia is rocking an iPhone 13 Pro Max, my fiance, because, hey, I love technology. We got literally the ucka bucka sucka of audio equipment here. Uh, I believe there are certain reviews that are calling this Rodecaster Pro 2 the Tesla of audio equipment because it just does everything. Uh, it's awesome. And, you know, we got these brand new microphones, which are equally amazing microphones, some of the best microphones in the world. Uh, for broadcast content. So I obviously love technology. I'm not adverse to technology, but I don't need a switch. So whether or not we're getting a new switch doesn't necessarily matter that much to me, even if I know I will buy it. However, we need to make sure we understand the context of this article. Nikkei is interpreting Shintura Furukawa saying, hey, we haven't been able to make as many units this summer as in prior summers. They're interpreting Nintendo's having a problem at manufacturing, so of course they're not going to release a new platform in the next, you know, however many months. Nintendo was having a problem, by the way, with manufacturing last year, and we weren't supposed to get a new product, and we got the Switch OLED. So it's sort of a opinion of Nick A that because Shintura Furukawa said, hey, we're not making as many units as prior summers that, you know, we're, we're, we're obviously having issues. But I want to actually focus on the second part of the quote where Shintura Furukawa actually stated, even if they hit the targets that they want to internally, he's not really even sure they're going to sell it all. Think about that for a moment. That sounds like a president that is self-admitting switch has peaked we're on the downturn. It's actually not that hard to buy one right now. You can regularly, but you can walk into any store in Japan right now and buy a Switch. You can walk into pretty much any store in the United States right now and buy a Switch. Canada, UK, Australia, all of Europe, like all the major territories. It's actually not that hard to get a Switch right now. I'm not saying that the shelves are fully stocked and stocked to the brim. And maybe your local retailers are stocked to the brim. But between online shopping and in-person shopping, it's actually pretty easy to get a Switch. It's the easiest system to get, even easier than an Xbox Series S. So it is extremely easy to get your hands on Switch. And that tells you Nintendo has not only caught up to demand, the demand has probably decreased a little bit. And even if they were able to produce every unit they want to, which Nintendo, by the way, didn't change their forecast, which means they still think they're going to produce enough Switches to hit 18 million Switches in the next nine months, right? So they still feel like they have enough manufacturing to hit their projections, if they were producing to the level that they probably would be comfortable with to have extra product, right? You want extra product for after this fiscal year. He doesn't think it'll sell and he doesn't think it'll sell. I think that's, I, I think that's really important. I mean, he could be wrong and it could sell, but Shintura Furukawa seems to be seeing the writing on the wall for switch, right? 25 million, you know, or was it? 28 million in, in 2020 to 25 million in 2021 to just 20 million projected in total for 2022 fiscal year. I think he sees the writing on the wall. And I talked about this before that Nintendo's being ran by a businessman. Shintura Furukawa is a businessman. He is not a game developer. He is not somebody with you know, that's headed up a bunch of studios. He literally came from the finance world. And when you're from the finance world, you have a different analytical brain when looking at data. And the data is telling him, and I told you guys, because it was telling me the same thing months ago, that the switch is on decline. We are no longer in the middle of the Switch's life cycle. The Switch is on decline. And Shatura Furukawa has referenced multiple times in the last 12 months that he seems to be aware of this, this is the first time he's actually directly mentioned, I don't think we could sell all the units even if we made them. So, hey, you know what? It doesn't matter that we can't make enough switches this summer because we already are making enough. We don't need more. He knows. Shintura Furukawa knows the switch is on the downturn. And even if they made all the units possible, they would not be able to necessarily sell them all, which means switch has reached its saturation point. That doesn't mean it can't sell another 15 to 18 million units next fiscal year. That doesn't mean it couldn't sell another 10 to 14, 10 to 12. But what it does mean is you're going to see regular declines in sales. And what have we noted from Shatura Furukawa in the past? He's talked in the past about he is a little bit worried about how Nintendo's going to transition to the next generation. He's talked years ago when he first became president that the number one thing he wants to avoid as president and CEO of Nintendo is he doesn't want to see them have the massive success of Switch 
and then fall off a cliff like they did with Wii and DS. He talked about this in, at length at multiple investors meetings, how he wants to avoid the cliff. The cliff is, you fall off. Now look, they're not at the cliff point yet because the Switch is still on pace to sell 20 million this fiscal year, at least according to their projections. That pacing is still there. But that's still 8 million less than they sold two years ago. That's still 5 million less than they sold last year. If you're looking at a decline of 3 to 5 million in sales per year, yes, you are on the decline. And at some point, you need to do something about that decline. And if he waits and he milks this system to maximize every little dollar and every little sale you can get out of it, like Nintendo did with Wii, like they did with DS, you end up releasing a platform too late to keep momentum. You want to release platforms while momentum is there. And while Shatura Furukawa hasn't directly stated that he needs to release a platform while they still have momentum, it makes sense. So when I read this headline coming from Takashi Machizuki, who is really just quoting a quote from the Nikkei article that's really just the opinion of Nikkei based, interpreting what Shatura Furukawa said about not being able to make as many Switch units as they would like to this summer, what I read that as is, hey, Nikkei thinks they're not going to release a new platform before the end of 2023. But Shintura Furukawa's own words are sort of speaking against it. He's saying, hey, we've reached saturation. We have reached the point of no return with Switch. If we produce more Switches, we aren't even sure they'll sell. And if that is the case, that's when it's time to get new hardware out the door. If nothing else, what Shintura Furukawa said actually leans more credit to drop in a new platform before the end of this fiscal year. Now, look, again, I told you I got no horse in this race. This is just what Nintendo should do if Shintura Furukawa truly feels this way. If Shintura Furukawa truly feels that if they were actually making the amount of switches they want to right now, that they wouldn't be able to sell them all, then it's time to get your next platform out the door, whether it's a pro, whether it's next gen, but it's time. And I think Shintura Furukawa isn't stupid he thinks financially, he recognizes we need to stop letting momentum go down because that's what's happening. Nintendo's momentum is on the decline. He needs to get it going back up. And you're not going to get it going back up by milking the Switch and just releasing more and more games. I know a lot of you say, just release more games. Give us Mario Galaxy 2, give us Metroid Prime 4, give us Breath of the Wild 2. That's going to help. Sure, software sales, it'll help a little bit but it's not going to fix the declining hardware sales. Legends Arceus didn't fix the declining hardware sales. Xenoblade's not going to. Splatoon's not going to. The holiday periods aren't going to because we've been seeing these declining sales for multiple years despite big games coming on. So, Nintendo, I think, is actually more likely to release a new platform before the end of this fiscal year based on what Shintura Furukawa said here than not. And if not, by the end of this current fiscal year, expect a holiday 2023 launch of something. And I'm saying this just because it makes logical sense. This isn't a rumor or whatever. This is just logic-based thinking, looking into what Shintura Furukawa has, has said this entire time. One, he still won't deny if there's new hardware coming this fiscal year. Asked directly on if there'll be new hardware in the current fiscal year, Shintura Furukawa said, no comment. Asked about, oh, what about the semiconductor shortage? And, and yes, we aren't making enough switches this summer. However, our projections didn't change. And you know what? I'm not really sure if we made more switches that we would even be able to sell the damn things. Yeah, that sounds like someone admitting it's time for the next big thing. Not the opposite. So I disagree with Nick Kay's interpretation. And apparently so does David Gibson. And notably to support that, because you might go, that's just, you're just a rambling random YouTuber. Who cares what you have to say? Well, there was a person who responded to David Gibson on the quote of, even if we can produce the volume we want, I'm not optimistic that we will be able to sell it all and that their guidance still calls for the 18 million in the next, next 10 months. Um, this guy named Captain Falcon, love that username, responded and said, any thoughts on the comment about new hardware doesn't seem to be a quote from Furukawa himself, so unclear what it means. I responded, and I, and I was just interpreting what David said, and I said, seems to be speculation because they don't think they can make enough hardware. However, he also says that they aren't sure, even if they did make it enough, that it would sell. Sounds like he just feels like the Switch is on a downturn, which means that new hardware actually makes sense, and I put a question mark on that. And David Gibson himself liked my comment, which means he agrees with my interpretation of what he said. So there you go. That is actually the current state of new hardware. It's that 
you know what? We don't have any new information, but the report out there is incorrect. And actually, Furukawa is saying things that support moving on. So take that for what you will. Uh, you guys are going to obviously have your interesting debates and call me names. There's going to always be people that call me names. But you know what? For once, sure, Furukawa was talking. So we, we, we need to be paying attention. And uh, depending on what actions he takes in the future, we'll let you know in the future when he comments. You know, like if New Harbor comes out, you know, by the end of this fiscal year, end of 2023, then we can already figure out how Shintura Furukawa works and what his comments actually mean. Remember, he, we, we has, he hasn't launched really much. So we have to remember with Shintura Furukawa, we're in uncharted territory because none of us know exactly how his mind works, except that he cares more about finances than he does about core video games. He leaves the video game stuff up to video game people. He's a businessman and he is going to do what he can to avoid the cliff. So we'll see what that actually means because I have no idea. Anyways, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.